Hey there everyone, so this is the part of the video where I'm going to give you a little bit of a house tour. Somebody wrote in recently and said, it's been so long since we saw your place, what's new? It's the beginning of the rainy season and the biggest new thing is the garden. So I'm going to start out here and we're going to go through the house. If you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe, hit that little bell, find out when we upload. So, I don't know, if anybody remembers, this was like just a whole bunch of ferns in the ground. It was all one level, and, and you can kind of see over here. It was all one level, and I planted these, and they took off like weeds. I also planted these, which flower, but they don't, it's actually shady over here, and they don't like growing in the shade, so they just stay very small. These guys, though, came up huge. Planted these, they never really got tall, but they did have babies, so there's others. We of course did the hanging plants up here, of which there's many. Um, and yeah, this got planted, didn't grow very big. The bougainvillea has gotten out of control, and it's all the way up there. And it's probably my like proudest moment. This, that little flower in there, this red flower, this is actually what happens when you put it in the sun. It's already had a little baby there. And I'm just going to step back so you can see. We've had a really hard time with this space because it gets full sun all day. This plant over here never took off. But once this one, which is the same as that small flower I showed you, it just grew so fast. So these ones that are kind of leaning out, they're recently transplanted. What happens is one grows up, but as it grows, it like pollinates new ones at the same time. So this one, that's kind of falling over, I need a bamboo for it. This one and this one, they were all together. And we separated them along with the babies from that one here. And they're going to fill this space in really nice. I also planted, this is a type of bird, bird of paradise here. And this one here is also, this green one is a type of bird of paradise, which also likes to really take over a space. Like a war, it's like you send in your first soldiers and a bunch die and maybe one lives, and then you send in the next round and a bunch die and maybe one lives, and eventually what happens is you build enough shade that you can actually grow some stuff here. So we're finally getting to a place, it, because rainy season's starting, this frangipani tree is starting, all the leaves are there, it actually flowers when the leaves fall off in the dry season but you can tell the rain's coming because it's starting to really fill out. And what's great about that is it's creating shade here and that's gonna help this come up. We just transplanted these literally days ago, so it'll take a few days. And I'm just gonna step back so that you can really see how amazing. If you see up here this vine that's growing, we planted it down here and it has a really beautiful little blue flower and I wanted it to go up and fill the fence in there all the way to the back but it's seeking the sun so it went up and the bougainvillea is tied to it so it is on the fence up here but it's preferring to go up there to the neighbors that house is currently abandoned no one's living in it the owner's not here right now the rebar that's here in this wall was built by the former owners it is mine it's dirty, it could use a repaint. I'm choosing not to paint it right now because that vine that you see, that's going to take over there and grow all the way down there and it's going to become completely green, which you know is my dream here. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see the fencing, but that's what's going on there. That will eventually fill in the fence. So there it is, guys. There is the garden. That's sort of I know it doesn't look like much, but this is a real labor of love. It took a long time. So from the garden, I'm just going to show you in here. Today, Finn and I hung this up. It's a wheat bill. So I've got some art that I had from Chiapas here, and now a wheat bill. The bed just has sheets on it right now. I've been wanting to, for a long time, make a collage with some of the art that I had from Guatemala here, and I've just been kind of playing with these ones out here on my bed. This is like a really nice, I don't know, let's see if you can see this. It's a photo of me when I was pregnant in Antigua, and it looks like one of those fake backgrounds, but that's really me pregnant. Yeah, that's Luna in there. And this one is from a photographer in Chiapas. 
This one I bought at a market in Chiapas, but it's actually Guatemala. That's Guatemala tradition. Uh, I mean, I have so, so many of these. This is from 2007, the Zapatistas in Chiapas. Uh, this was actually an Argentinian artist, but it's obviously Frida Kahlo. So my idea was all these very colorful Mexican and Guatemalan ones that I have. I was going to have them framed in like white frames and light wood frames and start kind of a collage up there, you know, with the wheat pill hanging and this. So this is like what's up and what's on deck right now and what's coming up. So this is the big major thing that happened today. We got these basket uh, pendant lights here and a new fan put in. The fan is a little too low to the table, like really... I can just reach up and almost touch it and I'm only 5'3", so we have to get that cut. But here it's like a guy has to come in, cut it, per perforate new holes, you know, everything's coming out of there, you know, as you can see. It's not so great when you look up, but it's going to be, like there's no light out here. It's going to be so key at night. I'm not even sure if you really can see how important this area is. This is where everything happens. I work here, this is where we eat, this is our outdoor area. We use it the most because it's the freshest. And this is my view from work in the day and it's worth it, I love it. And this frangipani from the guest bedroom is gorgeous and as this grows up and these as well, they'll flower and fill that space and it will It'll really be gorgeous. It'll really be like a jungle out here. I think this is hilarious. So I got the cheapest fan, which was under $30. It's exactly the old fan was just really old. But look how big this box is. Like, it's like an old folks home one for people with seeing uh, issues. But it's fine, whatever. So that's it, fans on. These lights, I got them put on a dimmer. Um, let me see if I can turn them on. So they go, I mean it doesn't look like much now because it's not that dark. And I just have like a 60 watt bulb in there because it's what, you have to get, I didn't know this, but you've got to get bulbs that are made to dim. And yeah, I think they're gonna be gorge, gorge, gorge. Now it brings me to the living room. I don't know, I did make some videos about buying the fabric for the couch here. I've always wanted a velvet couch. The cushion covers didn't fit well, so they made them a bit big, but now as you can see, they're a bit baggy. So it requires a bit of like tugging, pulling, tucking, you know. It's not like that big a deal. Luna kind of ruins it from running around on it, which she was doing right before I dropped her off. So right now I just have those two little pillows at the back, but there's going to be like a thin pillow here. The issue is I bought the last of the fabric. I thought I bought enough to cover the cushions and give me two long pillows, but I didn't. So this fabric is like a really rich sort of royal, it's like a velour, it's, it's got a texture to it. It doesn't show up on camera the way it looks in real life. But you can see from back here, it's like a nice, rich velour color. So it goes much better with the art. And now this table, my friend Finn, who is living here, we're going to paint the bottom of it one of the colors from here. And then we'll probably get, it'll either be black velvet or navy velvet in the cushions at the back. And it's going to be more of a like 60s sort of retro feel with a thinner, tight cushion at the back. And that'll finish that off. And now the last thing that's going on during COVID, because I don't have any guests here. Let's get some light on. The bathroom update's happening, but because of COVID-19, the bathroom update is happening on a fraction of the budget now. The good news is tons of stuff is on sale. So I actually had this replaced today. It's uh, like a, uh, it's called, I think, oiled nickel or something. So the idea is not to get a new sink and not to get a new toilet, even though I probably need both new. And as you can see, it's quite ugly under here. So I'm just going to have a wooden 
um, shelving system built like from here just to put away towels and stuff underneath and it will have like one shelf that'll go right across here and I think we're gonna stain it the same color as the kitchen so it'll be like slightly darker than this up here is the vanity so the van so for the cheapest vanity I could find online the mirror has been taken out but you can see how old this is so this is old this is like camp counselor old like slasher flick old it's metal all metal here becomes rust no matter what so the old tap here it was just like rusted my friend Finn was over and he took out the glass that was inside here the cheapest one I can find online which is exactly this but just an updated one is about 3,000 pesos and I need two because I have a different bathroom with the same one so we're gonna paint the inside. We're gonna spray paint the inside black. And when we painted the tile white, we did do a little bit white outside here because I'll just show you underneath. Like, look at that, it's just pure rust. So we're gonna take it off this weekend. We're gonna paint the outside white. We're gonna paint the inside black. And I'm gonna get, this is the mirrors. So they have things here. You, when you need a mirror, you just go and get one made, and as you can see, this is quite old. So I'll just go in and get four more of this exact mirror, and we'll get a little cute knob on there, probably something, I would say, in the same brass as this, or in the same sort of copper as here, and that'll really update that without having to change it. Uh, I'd like to paint this black. I have to get some plastic paint. If anybody has any suggestions that's not spray paint, send them my way. And then the last thing, I had the plumber here today and he took one of these off for me. As you can see, this is what happens over time when you live somewhere where there's salt in the air and humidity. It gets like that. So I'm just going to replace these with basically the same ones and we'll spray them black or they have some black plastic ones I might get. There was a shower head out of there, the sort of cheapest one, and that down there. This is the shower head. It's also got that damage on it. It's completely rusted out. When he took it out for me, it broke off. Like that's how gross and old it is. But they sell this for about 200 pesos. And he said, you know what, if you want a black one, just buy it and spray paint it black. It'll look exactly the same. So we're going to do exactly that this weekend and also get two of these in the black plastic, which are also very cheap. And it will go with like, I don't know if you can see here, got some black lighting there, mid-century and these ones as well. I know it doesn't look like much now. But I think this bathroom is going to look massively updated from, it just had this brown tile before, the white already makes it look great. I know everything's a little bit haphazard in here right now, but I really think there'll be a huge update on that. And once that's done, and it's done for a good price, and it looks better, you know, then I can get it the same thing done in my bathroom. So that's it for now. You also saw what I did the fence outside. It doesn't look better. It doesn't look like what I wanted, which was great as when Finn was over today, he was saying, you know what, let the rainy season happen and see if it makes it better. I see myself painting it black or staining it black. Um, I have this idea of having this very black, dark front of the house. I want to be really inconspicuous and yeah, so I see that happening, but Maybe we'll paint it out of one of the colors that's here. I actually, if you guys want to let me know down below which color you like out of this, Finn and I are going to paint the bottom unless... The idea is just to paint here, like to, to sand this down. I mean, you can see the wood here anyway, and I think it'll really elevate this. I ordered this online and didn't realize it looked darker online I didn't realize it was going to be the same color as the table and I think it'd be nice to create some depth there so that's it for this video everybody asked me about an update there's going to be more coming I really can't wait to show the sort of final bathroom reveal this has been a long time coming there's been a lot of steps uh, we'll see I'm gonna like I said get the cheapest one and paint it if it looks horrible, I can always upgrade to something. I mean, it's uh, the replacing it is going to cost about 15 bucks. 
so I'm not holding my breath. Same with the table. I'm going to paint it. If you guys want to leave what color you like out of the mural down below, I'll show you the mural one more time. Go for it. And hopefully we choose the same one. I'd love to hear your feedback. Part of me really likes, I'll show you, the mustardy color and part really likes the brown color. I also have all the colors that are in all of the murals here. I still have paint left over, so any one you like, let me know. But yeah, that's where we're at. And uh, yeah, keep watching. We'll show you in the next video all of the reveal of all of this. Again, if, I can't wait to show you the final of the bathroom. I think it'll be great. And you know, there's always more to do in the garden, but we're very close to the end. So next week, you'll hopefully see the cushions and the bathroom done. See you soon. Adios, baby.